Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to El Cuisine. If you are an old subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. If you are new and watching this channel for this first time, I would like to say a very big aquaba to you. Um, kindly subscribe and today we are going to do this very simple fish light soup now look how scrumptious this fish light soup looks and it was very easy and i promise it doesn't take more than 40 minutes i promise shall we <laughs> now first of all you have to prepare your fish i am using tilapia you are of course welcome to use any type of fish of your choice so sometimes when you buy your fish fresh from the market, from the fishmongers, you'll be lucky and they will actually prepare your fish for you. That will be like the perfect thing. But if not, then you will have to prepare your fish. And for the purpose of that, you have to get rid of all the fins of the fish. And to make life easier for you, you wish to use scissors instead of a knife for that but of course when you are getting rid of the scales then you will need a proper knife for that purpose next you wish to cut off the mouth of the fish Afterwards, you wish to get rid of the gill. So after cleaning my fish, I went ahead and washed it with lemon just to minimize the fishy smell. So you're basically done with cleaning and preparing your fish for the tilapia soup that you're going to make. You just have to cut them in the appropriate sizes that you wish. Now I'm using praconchere, basically pork feet. And because it's quite salty, what I do is first to boil it and then I get rid of the water and I do that actually twice to just mitigate the saltiness of the meat. So afterwards, um, you just transfer those to like your soup dish, um, your saucepan that you're going to prepare your soup in it. And then you add your already finely chopped onions. And I also have beef, um, also salted beef, tolu beef. And then you add some chunky onions that I cut into big, I cut into half basically. So I also added some fresh tomatoes and if you don't like the pork, for instance, you can just leave them out and prepare your light soup without it. Now for steaming my beef and pork, I used some fresh onions, scotch bonnet, garlic and ginger and I blended it. I did not add any 
salt or maggi cube until the very end because you know the pork already is very salty and the beef is also very salty so i just waited till the end and i tasted everything and then i added one at the very end i also had some already cooked garden eggs and just make sure that you blend it thoroughly you wish not to have any garden egg skin um, on you for food later on so you just have to add those to your vegetables and your pork and your beef the reason why i did not add my fish to like already at the beginning is that again i don't want my fish to be too soft at the end you know fish don't actually need a lot of time as opposed to um, the pork or the beef so i will end it later on at a very you know in a, at a later stage actually so after adding your garden eggs make sure you add lots of water because now the water will determine the amount of soup you're gonna have at the end and because it is light soup it shouldn't be heavy or anything like that um, that's the name light soup you can add lot of water so for me i added let's say maybe one and a half liter water now you just have to make sure that your veggies are properly cooked and then you fish them out and also you blend them thoroughly So unlike the veggies that we blended in the beginning, here we don't have to add additional water because normally you only add water so that, you know, it just facilitates the blending process. And now you just have to add your blended tomatoes and onions to the stock. So after tasting, I decided to add one Maggi cube to it. Here you put on back the lid and at a later process, I decided to add a bit of salt to taste because I felt like it needed more salt. So do that according to your taste and according to your like. Just have to cover it again and immediately when the soup starts cooking please do add your fresh fish into your soup please do use the lid of your saucepan to cover it again but not entirely just halfway and now let the soup take its own precious time and cook allow it to cook on a medium heat don't rush it please don't you know what i nearly forgot that i had some okra so i added some to my soup and i was just enjoying the beefy smell all over the place and in the meantime i prepared my fufu yes and i'm enjoying my fufu in asanka also known as apatoyua and it has multitude purposes in the Ghanaian kitchen today its purpose was to serve fufu so here we go and after 15 to 20 minutes time of adding your fish into your soup your soup is ready to be served and the fish is actually still whole and you know those flavors of the beef and the prakong cherry and the tilapia coming together with the okra mm. you cannot miss this scrumptious fufu but very easily to make well i hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for taking your time and watching it 
I hope to see you next time around. Kindly subscribe and comment and let me know how your fufu and light soup went. All right. Thank you so much again. See you next time around. Bye.